Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another bumper episode of the Morogis Podcast. Um, this is a comedy box today on the Morogis Podcast. You know, Angel Gabriel, apparently he is the founder of Laughter Republic. Thank you so much, Morogis, for bringing me here. Uh, we're here live, and let me speak like Morogis himself <laughs> you know, for bringing us here. We're just here right now. You know. <laughs> You know, here in Taking if I had born in Nigeria, uh, <laughs> South African by association. <laughs> That's me, man. It's Nigeria. I don't want to leave that thing. What is Laughter Republic? Uh, Laughter Republic is a, is a companion, a mm. commendable one. Mm. Uh, for us, it's just a tool that has emerged as a platform. Okay. Um, so so it's, it's, actu- it's actually that platform that mm. connects humanity uh, with humor. Uh, okay. Because um, you know, life these days, there are people who are dying because of stress. Uh, you talk to an average man on the street, mm. my man, how are you? He say, ah, man, can't complain. Mm. That means there's something eating him up, but he <laughs> cannot complain. <laughs> you know, you talk to a Nigerian man, guy how far now, so boy, we just deal, which means something is not there. <laughs> so, averagely, you know, people are dying gradually. Some are dying suddenly, you know, sudden death and all that. So and this is all, all as a result of stress. And so we, we just thought of this. Mm. Uh, Laughter Republic should be a platform that can connect comedians and, you know, the audience. Okay. Give them a stress-free environment, mm. you know. So And uh, we, we just decided to put that on and the rest has been history mm. uh you know profitable in terms of uh mm. the outcome you know we get from people people mm. saying man we can't wait for the next season and all that mm. so uh, i think laughter republic it's uh it's a god-given platform that's angel gabriel himself you know an average uh, an average nigerian man has no one name <laughs> that's why you ask a nigerian man uh, what's your name he mm. will not tell you my name is he say my names are Okay. Then you will start. Mm. Angel, Gabriel, Gabriel or Nazi, Osaka. Ozoko, or Chapa. <laughs> <laughs> so our names are, they come in package. Uh, so the, the angel actually, the angel, the angelic mm. aspect of my name mm. is, uh, it's, it was given to me by a pastor that I, I got, I, okay, I entered the church and I was supposed to be called upon to do mm one item then i was still dancing i was just a dancer all right and then the guy looked at me the pastor looked at me and he said mm. uh can we please welcome nj gabriel and i said wow that's my name wow and so from that day mm. i did not give myself the name people wow. gave me wow so i think i deserve it it's an accolade oh my god Angel Gabriel Thank you. in the house. <laughs> Angel Gabriel in yes, the so. house. Yes, so. <laughs> listen because you know you touched something just now okay yeah it's a dancer yeah you started as a dancer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did the comedy comes in? There was a time where, before you dance, yes, we just felt we should add something to the dance. Other people just come, they mm. just come on stage and they start dancing, mm. or they invite them to the stage and they start dancing. Mm-hmm. So we just, I, I just felt no, we should. It's high time we start. Uh, uh, we started in, 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 like introducing our, our dance. Mm talk about the dance before we dance all right so in the process of talking about the dance before we start mm. i discovered that people were getting the vibe the comedy you mm. know part of me started right. you know emerged in the process of introducing our dance mm, mm. i get on stage and i'm about to talk to them and i say well um you know ladies and gentlemen uh, you are here we are about to dance and this kind of dance you've not seen it before mm. simple talk and mm. people will still laugh <laughs> you know say certain things and all that mm. and if you are here you are wearing high heels mm. remove them because you will dance you know some certain things like that wow and you know, by 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 time we, uh, I got familiar with the people as well. Mm. Uh, this is what they want. All so right. I started building on those materials to also mm. let them know that okay, mm. this dance is, is. I mean, the dance is coming mm. and all that and all that. So I think that was actually mm. comedy. Now uh, mm. the fusion now uh, became thick. It became visible to me, mm. and you know, it was open. All that right. no, uh, that's why if you call Angel Gabriel to perform as a comedian mm. i like to come in with a song all right that will usher me in so the dance part of me mm. uh, uh, will also be seen because it connects me better to my comedy 
Okay. It makes me mm. comfortable when I'm about to flow after the dance. Mm. I just flow like a plane that is taking off. <laughs> <laughs> well warm up. <laughs> mm. We just concluded uh, Laughter Republic season three. Wow. Congratulations. It, thank you very much. Toast to that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We can do that again. Good. In fact, another who, who, who. No, we, we concluded it and um, <laughs> mm. it was a huge success. Wow. It was a bomb. Mm. Uh, just that we did not kill anybody. No. We just, we, we <laughs> fought, we, 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 we resurrected people who were dead. You know, so um, it mm. was a bomb and uh, mm. uh, my, 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 my entrance, like I said, mm. Anytime I come on stage, I like to come with hot music. All right. Either contemporary, mm. you know, songs that will lead me into, you know, every, even, even a musician. Okay. Mm. Um, mm. A boxer, for instance, that wants to go play. Mm. There's a warming up moment. Mm. At that point, you know, you cool your, instead of cooling your nerves, mm. you make their life. As a footballer, you warm up also before you play. Mm. And as a musician, you also go through your, you know, your, your, your songs sometimes. Mm. You rehearse before you do that. Exactly. You know, so there's always that thing that takes the lead okay. in taking you to the stage. All right. I've, I've seen people who mm. said, please, mm. I want to see that dance. Because the, I was in a stage a few days ago mm. and I was just called to come do my thing. Mm, mm. So by the time I got off stage, it was on Sunday, mm. a guy saw me backstage and was like, wow, Ooh. that was a nice performance. You know, the comedy was on point. Mm. But man, I was looking forward to that dance. Of course. <laughs> that dance, hey man, you didn't do it. I'm like, okay, yeah, because, you know, mm. I was called upon like, you know, impromptu kind of arrangement. They come on stage and all that. Mm. Normally I like to I let them put this music or put this song or play this song for me, mm. you know. So, um, commercially, mm. uh, I've not seen anything that is not uh, sellable. Wow. Uh, we need to sell. As an average Nigerian, mm. we sell, we do business. <laughs> the only thing we don't sell, if it's even possible, we can rent our family to people uh, for money because uh, the thing is that uh, we, 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 we don't love money. We just love to spend money. <laughs> so commercially i think uh people have invited me mm. on several occasions we just want you to come and perform at our concert mm. with a dance all right and uh, sometimes i charge them mm. well mm. and the thing is that uh, sometimes they also pay well so when you pay well mm. you bring so the you best do. step out of me <laughs> there are even cre creative steps that can come out when i see here when i hear money mm. hey, i can even dance chinese dance without hearing their music i know the comedy is a huge thing in west africa especially nigeria it's like if it's a if it's a country if it can be called king of comedy in the world it should be called like that you know what i'm saying yeah so um how is your performance accepted right here if compared to Nigeria or maybe Ghana or something. Honestly, I will tell you this. Mm. At first, I was like uh, skeptical, mm. not scared, but people were scared on my behalf. <laughs> you know, people were telling me, "Ah, man, mm. uh, you know, you're a Nigerian, mm. so well, so so you know, it's hard for people to like just accept you and all that." Mm. But then there is this thing that I know mm. within me: mm. if you are good, you are good. And any man who refuses any good thing is a bad man. Exactly. Simple. There's no doubt about it. You know, so I've made up my mind that just keep being good. You'll be relevant. You'll be, you see, when you are useful, mm. that's when you are used. <laughs> Nobody uses any useless person. <laughs> exactly. So the fact that you want to remain useful, mm. it, that means you have to make yourself useful. You have to work on yourself. If you want people to use you, use yourself first. Mm. Work on yourself. So I looked at the environment. Mm. One of the things that people don't oftentimes do mm. is they refuse, the refusal to, 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 to study your environment. Exactly. There's no place, even when the soldier is about to go to war, mm. there's what they call visibility studies. They go out, they do that <laughs> on their own. They check the areas where... Did you, where you did know. you hear that? Visibility <laughs> studies. <laughs> uh, if English is not borrowed, it cannot be used. <laughs> All right, please continue. You know, so you, you, you just need to study your people. All right. Study the environment. 
you know mm -hmm. i'm in south africa right now mm -hmm. and uh, you need to look at south africa as a as a as a as a as a, as a place as opportunity as an opportunity so mm -hmm. uh, where do i penetrate how do i tickle these people mm -hmm. how do i do this mm -hmm. then you look at okay i was just booked for a job mm -hmm. in durban mm -hmm. last night mm -hmm. now this is a Zulu speaking area. Area, yeah. And now I have embarked on learning how to say some certain things in Zulu. Good. So as you do your comedy, you mix them up. That's mm. how to be useful. I've never left any place without them, you know, uh, saying we need to bring you back. Good. So that's you working on yourself. So mm. for me, mm. the South African market mm. is in fact it's very hospitable i've been so welcomed mm. so celebrated the south africans to let me even shock you mm. they celebrate me more wow they celebrate me more than the nigerians, the nigerians here nigerians celebrate me mm. no doubt but but you know when a nigerian man celebra celebrates you mm. he's about to use you <laughs> uh -huh. so the south africans will celebrate you for what you are doing and for who you are all right so they've celebrated me, they've embraced me, mm. they've accommodated me. Mm. You know, I have friends, you know, uh, like the winner man, when we move, they celebrate us, they, they receive us. Wow. A few days ago, he was in almost everywhere. Wow. Uh, the, a place they call, is it Nigerians, uh, how some people call it, kwa 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 means, you know, uh, coconut. Mm. Uh, w is called kwa kwa. Mm, okay, <laughs> he yeah. went there, mm. from there to welcome, moving up and down. Mm. Now, this is South Africa. Wow. He's a Nigerian. Mm. And we move almost all the time together wow. so if you are not useful these people will not call you they don't pretend sir so uh, i was in london as well good my experience in london mm. i was like okay let me see how these people behave mm. i had to like calm down mm. study them mm. and then i came up with one comedy that at, i mean that glued that got me glued to them and they were glued to my mm. uh, to me on stage all right and it was something else mm. you know they, they, they didn't they didn't see comedy from it they didn't see comedy coming out of it mm. like people rushing into the bus pa, 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 pa. people were rushing mm. and me a typical nigerian ah, i saw people running i just started running <laughs> and we ran and we entered inside the bus mm. and i just saw people putting their tags there for me, I just held it in. The white man looked at me and said, hey, hi, where are you going to? I said, even me, I don't know. I was running for safety. <laughs> <laughs> you see? So that's how you study the environment. They never saw comedy out of that. Okay. But I saw comedy in it. You know? You know, so mm. the basic thing for every comedian, my ad, in fact, the basic thing is just for you to just study the environment, mm. see how you can mm. work it out. Mm. You know, there are some comedy that will require you calling names. Mm. You have to look for the names that are popular in that environment. Use such names. Because in that environment, mm. for instance, in South Africa, mm. it's hard for you to do something and not mm. hear that there is somebody called Zungu or Tepiso. <laughs> so these are names that are familiar names that you can use. So mm. that's how it is. Study. Wow. Just live a studious life. If I am called upon to come and perform, and you, perform and you will pay me, I will work for me that is work if you call a pastor to go and mm. pray for somebody in the mm. club who has fainted mm. will he not pray <laughs> if you call a pastor to come and preach to people for the opening <coughs> i've seen a pastor you know they're okay you want to open a new club mm. and you call a pastor to come and pray to, for the opening of the club mm. your pastor will go and pray it's a business you are opening he will come and pray for it mm. that doesn't make him a sinner so anywhere you call me I was even the other day I, I performed at a funeral. Mm. People were supposed to be crying, mourning. Okay, so what's the difference between performing in the club and performing in the church? Like I said, mm. studying your environment. All right. Studying your people. Mm. What kind of materials do they need? Okay. But that does not mean that because you are in the club, mm. you must be a nuisance. That does not mean because you are in the club to mm. perform, mm. you must now say things that are not part of you. you your comedy must be your style. All right. It doesn't mean that you should now, because you are in the club, mm. you must now go and uh, hold a woman mm. and do the things that you are not supposed to do or touch her mm. as an example. No, mm. you can do that with your words without you even doing some certain things that are against your belief mm. system. Mm. So for me, uh, the first watch, in fact, the watch word should be decency. Okay. Your material should be acceptable by all, not okay. just a certain group of people. Do you write comedy script? 
Oh. Yes, I, I write my comedy line. Sometimes, you know, the punch line, mm. uh, you write them. But then you might get on stage and then you are inspired to do more. What's the writing process? We write. Um, the thing is, you must see comedy in every seriousness. A comedian sees things in different ways. Mm -hmm. When you are seeing transportation, a comedian is seeing comedy. Wow. <laughs> when you see deliverance... <laughs> Sometimes I'm in a church. People mm. are sharing testimonies. Mm. Me, I'm, I'm just seeing comedy. And that is very uh, interacting or something that, is, that carries more light. Mm. The kind of English that I've not heard before. Mm. I, that's how I learn. Wow. I just jot it down. And then I ask myself, mm. what is the meaning of this word? I love the way he put it. Mm. A comedian must learn how to write. But there are people mm. who don't write comedy. Maybe because they don't have the gift of writing. Oh. <laughs> yes. We must be also sincere to ourselves. There are people who cannot write. We found out there's a guy they just called his name a few days ago. Mm. So they gave him something to write his name. Mm. It was a challenge. Wow. I don't want to call his name. Why? Because if, if I call his name now, he might not be comedy anymore. <laughs> 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 he couldn't write his own name, the name they gave him. Is it? He had to go back to his passport and mm. was seeing how they spelled his name. Mm. You know, so what am I saying in essence? People there are people who have the gift to write. Okay. And some don't know how to write, but they are comedians. That's why we have all manner, mm. different types of comedians. There are comedians who go on stage right now, mm. their materials will end. The moment the materials they've planned is finished. Finished. Mm. The comedy has ended. So what happens, the real comedian starts doing comedy when the material is ended mm. and he has to go on spontaneity. Okay. That's mm. when you now say you are a world-class, flexible comedian. Wow, that's nice. That's nice, that's nice. Now you've talked about, you know, <clears throat> the, I mean, the, the, the fans here, how they accept comedy and everything, and most importantly, how they accept you. All right. Um, the, the comic word here, in this in South Africa do, do they also accept people like you like that um for for instance uh, in life mm. your association determines your acceleration all right it determines where you are heading to Wow if I'm a friend to you it's because I like what you're doing when did you ever decided to make this a business um as soon as people started paying me all right okay or well, let me just you know, maybe not use the word pay mm. as soon as people started rewarding me like even when i did not ask them mm. i've been to events where especially pastors eh? okay you know where you just finish and you are sitting down somebody just hand over an envelope to you okay the brown you, paper yeah the, the the brown <laughs> envelope you know normally <laughs> when they give you you think is a house bill <laughs> <laughs> Only to find out that, that uh, you have something inside. Wow. So by the time you check the substance, mm. you discover that, ah, man, this thing is, mm. okay? You're right. And then, you know, mm. I just felt, no, it's also high time. Uh, we we'll get paid. Uh, so the thing mm. is, doing comedy, it's very hard. Mm -hmm. It's not something you learn. No. Is it? No, 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 no. Let me tell people the truth. People say, ah, uh, this person trained me. Mm. No matter how they train you, they can train you on how the business aspect of comedy. All right. But training you to build your material mm. is also possible. But now, they can't train you to deliver your material. Most definitely. You just have to be creative and have your own unique way of delivering you. Mm -hmm. Like in Nigeria, we have all manner of comedians. We have stand-up. Mm. We have sitting down. Mm -hmm. We have all manner. We have uh, visual mm. comedians. Mm. We have someone like Mr. Ibu. Mm. Mr. Ibu is more of uh, a comedian uh, on TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you bring him on stand-up, he will stand up. Only in fact, he's just <laughs> moving. He's, That's, he's the one who is even a stand-up comedian because <laughs> without saying anything, you just laugh. Look, Just looking at Mr. Ibu, you laugh. It's the creation and everything. You understand. All right. So uh, I think comedy is mm. a reality show to right. me okay uh i started getting paid because i saw that okay the demand was becoming higher yeah all right so as soon as the demand started mm. going high because of course because you even before you even get to an event you also spend mm. petrol mm. you go far mm. so now comedy i also found out that some other people mm. who started before me mm. were making fortune out of it wow making money building houses mm. enjoying life so wow. i felt okay this is a business, and the and the and the concept of the show, you know, I want to talk about the show yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, because 
I think it's one thing to be a comedian, yeah. you know, looking out and waiting for people to call you to come perform their shows. And another thing, actually having a show like Laughter Republic, something that will be seasonal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So how, how did you come about that? Is it, where, where, where did you get that kind of idea and inspiration from? Okay. Um, I've seen other people mm. who do their shows. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, in life, somebody must mentor you. Mm. Back home in Nigeria, we've had so many people who do their own shows. You know, mm. uh, some of them started this thing before we even thought of it, you know. And uh, in a way, mm. knowingly or knowingly, these people would have influenced your life. We have the likes of A.Y., right. the likes of Bucci, the likes of uh, Godons, okay. you know, mm. okay. uh, okay, Bakasi. These are guys who have their own shows running. Proper time of comedy. Okay. And there are, there are uh, incentives mm. that are in the show. Ours should be a whole package mm. where everything is in it. There is family time. Mm. There is also, you know, praying time if you want to pray. For okay. instance, in the last concluded event, we had to pray for South Africa because mm. we felt... Uh, there's need for prayer. Yes. even I, I tell you the truth. There's need for prayer because people pray. And someone was like, mm. not church? No, it's not church. <laughs> That's the mistake people are making. All Must right. you pray in the church? God is everywhere, so uh, you can talk to him everywhere. So, so for us, it's just mm. a medium where we can make sure everything in life mm. is tackled and enjoyed which side of the comedy space are you is it stand up and visual what which side of it i think um if you allow me because hmm. i also has mc events all right so if you allow me hmm. i think i am strongly on the side of stand up all right uh, because most of the work i do i stand I don't sit down to do them except this interview that i'm doing right now mm -hmm. that I'm sitting. <laughs> so normally we, we i'm used to standing up uh, mc you mm. stand you talk to people you do comedy you, you stand. stand so you stand up uh, but uh mm. also i have my own skits that are going on for me all right you know that i do and so that's visual okay you know so uh and from 2020 we're going to be going very you know on a high note mm. uh, we're going to be dropping them one after the other okay you know so there's also another show that is coming up by mm. the grace of god we're going to be doing a show mm. you know an in-house show okay you know where we have few comedians mm. you know interacting with each other doing mm. the things together mm. and all mm. that mm. that's also another concept that has come okay uh, so we're doing that and then the angel gabriel show is also on the corner oh angel gabriel show yeah there's a new one that yeah. will be added to laughter Republic. yeah Angel Gabriel, yes, sir. you haven't made us laugh. We've we'll been talking and talking and talking and you talking. You have not been laughing since we've been talking. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, okay, Chris, why are you doing this to me now? This laughter, you say you have not been laughing. Uh, of course, this is laughter. Anyway. Yeah. So which one do you want again? So of all of these uh, comedians in South Africa, which one is your favorite? To be honest with you, in South Africa, hmm. if I want to be very, very honest with you, hmm. everybody will tell you Trevor Noah. I recognize him. No, no, let's, let's, let's not leave do travel. No, yeah. It's Kanisa Bono. Okay. Kanisa. All right. She, she's, she's my favorite. And because, why? Uh, because she's, um, she's into, she fits into every environment. Okay. She's into the intellectual side. Mm. She's into the decent side. Mm. Uh, she's not into swearing. Because mm -hmm. uh, I know that uh, swearing is not part of us. Okay. It's not who we are as mm. Africans. Uh, because uh, uh, Africa man would, I mean, South African man would tell you, ah, now you see you are swearing at me now, mm. and then I don't like it. <laughs> you know, so he's angry. Uh, he's angry. He won't even come to your show anymore. You know, so but there are people who swear. I've I've been to some other comedy shows mm. where I think the title of the comedy show should, would have, I mean, should have been uh, 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 swearing comedy night <laughs> because they were just busy swearing. You so, know, so. In, and in Nigeria. In Nigeria, it's my favorite is Godons. All right, Godons, the the comedy Belisconi, is my favorite. Is it? So uh, I love him so much. Mm. And then there are actually three. Okay. Mm, that I love so much. But you know, when you you people put us on the spot, the people, the other people now will be asking. Mm. So you don't like us? <laughs> that you're not calling our name. No, no. Is it, uh, 
Isn't yeah. it? It's the same thing they do too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. No, so no, no the three me, can you? Who, let, who are the three? Let me speak my mind. If you like, oh, most definitely. Like, yeah. That's it's, what happened. It's Godons, mm -hmm. Okay, Bakasi, mm -hmm. and Agodai. And what is the similarity of these three? They are very creative. All right. Spontaneous. Okay. And discipline to the act. Mm. Over the years, mm. they've been able to put comedy together, mm. put their household together, mm. and we've seen, uh, you know, we've seen that produce for them. Okay. Like I said, we have businessmen in comedy, mm. and we have comedians mm. in business comedy. Great. The social media has taken place, and everybody, you know, all over the social media, you know, it, I mean, the the posts and everything. You know, it's coming from people, ordinary people, people whom are not even, you know, who doesn't know anything about comedy. You know what I'm saying? How does that affect your profession? And basically, how does that affect your business? Everything that's, ha I mean, that has advantages also has disadvantages. disadvantages. Exactly. And so it is now your duty to also be yourself on social media. Mm -hmm. Because most of the things people post there, they are all lies. It's either they're seeking attention mm. or they're just saying something else. In terms of exposure, positive, it has done pretty well. All right. Because there are people who never come across you, but they've seen your materials. Okay. So because what I was trying to find out is that all of those millions of posts that's coming from ordinary people every day whom, whom are not comedians, yeah. if it does affect your income or affect your profession it, in any way it affects us it affects my income because uh, okay. people people invite me sometimes by mm. virtue of what they see on, on, on social media okay uh, to come perform somewhere they right. invite me okay. to come do their weddings and all that sometimes mm. the last laughter republic people were uh on i mean they were on live okay some people there was a guy who who saw it i mean who watched it while he was in china mm. he was supposed to be here with us mm. and he traveled because of business mm. but then he, he had the privilege of watching it on in facebook okay in china okay. why because social media mm. you know so it has helped us in terms of income and there are people who are also reaping from it in terms of followership mm. and uh, you know and all that all right. so uh some of us are getting to that point also where we mm. begin to reap mm. hugely you know in terms of our followers and all that mm. so but then i think so mm. uh, it has helped us some of us have built houses with yes. social media mm. income next laughter republic will be when uh it's gonna be in two sections this time around all right um we're gonna be having the easter ed edition mm. and then we'll be having the october uh edition all right all in Joburg. then we'll be having like this year we did laughter republic cape town for the first time all right so next year we'll be doing mm. cape town mm. where we'll be we'll be doing durban mm. and we'll be doing pe mm. yeah uh london is also saying we should try and do it that will support us so at least uh i don't want to talk about the london one yet because mm. it's a higher level all right uh, you have to be you have to put yourself together to be able to <laughs> announce that one uh, until we get sponsors because uh we need sponsors <laughs> we need sponsors all right speaking of sponsor anything you want to get out of your shirts please please they should sponsor us <laughs> this 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 thing is not easy i have two children Let's just <laughs> let's just sponsor us. How can we be doing comedy and be sponsoring ourselves? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just sponsor. Anyway, I'm just saying it. Uh, of course, sponsorship does not just occur in a day. It's a journey of its own. So and it also that's what also depicts the fact that uh, you've done well and you're growing as well. So I think we've grown to the stage where mm. uh, sponsors can begin to come in. Mm. We've had sponsors, not like we've not had. I mean, but we want major corporate sponsors like MTN, CLC, mm. mm. you know, to come pitch their tent, give us what they have. Mm. Let's help them. Let's help. I mean, let's, let, let them help us. And we also help them announce mm. some of their new things to the people mm. because we have the privilege of guarding about 1,000 people, 2,000 people. Mm. Very soon we'll be guarding up to 10,000 people. Wow. We're looking at Coca Cola Dome. Mm. Somebody was telling me the other day, can't you, since you also play soccer, mm. can't you do comedy in mm. stadium? I said, yes, it's possible. Mm. Yeah, we'll look into that maybe later mm. where we'll decide, okay, we want to bring comedians from all over the world. Mm. I want to do it in FMB. People mm. will come. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. That's a vision and I'm heading towards there. They shouldn't be surprised. I'm not talking about mm. 20, uh, 30 something. No. Mm. It's possible 2022. Even 2020. Even 2020. 
That's why I like you. Oh. Miracle Sam. You see, you are the one, you always motivate me. You remember my first paid job in this country? Uh, Came from you. Parade. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's a pity I did not keep the sleep. <laughs> 34 rand was, was my pay. <laughs> 34 <laughs> rand. And that 34 rand. Yo, yo, yo. They gave me a receipt for it. Hey, you, you, you know how to keep record. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, Angel Gabriel on the Moral G's podcast. Peace. Peace.